Right here on Laurel Canyon Rock Radio, I'm your host, Eric Brenner. And we're going to switch gears here and welcome our first guest to the show as we celebrate John Lee Hooker's 100th birthday, which what would have been his 100th birthday this week. And we have a man who formed a group with him as our special guest this week right here on the show. He later went on to back Tim Harden at Woodstock and then became a founding member of Merle Saunders and the Rainforest Band. Let's welcome Steve Maruga Booker to Laurel Canyon Rock Radio. Steve Booker, welcome to the show. Thank you, bro. To me about Booker does Hooker. The bass player is a very big name from Detroit. You're also possibly bringing in a rock legend to this project. We have John Sauter, who was my buddy who played with John Lee Hooker back in the day. And John and I both were asked to play with Teddy Nugent, uh, uh, for some reason, I didn't uh, end up going. I ended up going with Paul Winter, uh, and John Sauter ended up going with Teddy Nugent. But uh, uh, I, I loved playing with Nugent a whole lot. After all of this happened, I got back with John Sauter many years later, and I said, hey, let's uh, do a blues album commemorating John Lee Hooker's uh, 100th birthday. So we did that. So I follow you on Facebook, and I find out about Booker Does Hooker, this new group you're putting together. I call up Ted Nugent's manager. I tell him about this new group that Steve Booker's putting together, a tribute to John Lee Hooker. What happens after I call Ted Nugent's management company? The bro called me, man. Ted is my dear bro. I jammed with him when he was with the Amboy Dukes and when he was with Teddy Nugent. I actually was the one that told Lieber and Krebs that after Hendrix passed away that Teddy would be like the next Hendrix and they should get him and they, they listened to me and Teddy went with them. And so uh, here I am sitting in my stage court studio in Ann Arbor and Nugent calls me and says, hey man, let's get together over a coffee at Starbucks and they'll see what could happen. And I told him I sure would be interested in doing an album with you. And he also claimed his interest. He didn't tie any knots yet, but he's going to be coming here and we're going to be talking and I look forward to uh, doing a project to record with each other and maybe do some gigs because we had that kind of chemistry. We always had it and uh, I love the Nooch. So the breaking news here on Laurel Canyon Rock Radio is that Ted Nugent from Ted Nugent and the Amboy Dukes, which is the group that many of our listeners will remember this great man from, could very well be collaborating with Steve Maruga Booker and John Sauter on Booker Does Hooker a tribute to John Lee Hooker. This would be the Nuge's first blues project possibly ever. Thank you, bro. Let's talk Tim Harden. There were two Maruga Booker Tim Harden gigs. The first was at Woodstock. Would you confirm that Tim was shooting up before the performance? And did the band try to intervene? They had to take a helicopter to bring us in. And yes, he did get stoned. He seemed to, uh, not as stoned as some people said. Not that he wasn't real stoned, but he seemed coherent. But I don't think he wanted to go on early. I think he wanted to go on later. So he let everybody else go on and he did his stone bit. bit. So he did that. So the next day, we go and play World's Pavilion with Odetta and Incredible String Band opening up for us. And I saw Tim Harden. He had like the size of a horse needle that he was shooting his heroin up with. And they would say, here is Tim. And when he said Tim, he shot himself up. Harden! And he gave the needle to the manager and went up on stage. And I saw that I could become really great friends with Tim. And if I did, I would be just losing another friend. Talk to me about Blues from the Rainforest. This was the Grammy-nominated album you made with the Rainforest Band with Merle Saunders and Jerry Garcia. Well, what happened is I met Wojo here in Detroit, you know, from Barney Miller, uh, Max Gale. He introduced me to Merle. Uh, but all of the songs uh, Jerry played, and if you listen, you'll hear flute. That's not a flute. That's Jerry's electric synthesized guitar playing flute. Jerry is not just playing guitar, but he's got synthesized guitar sounds, the flute and different synthesized sounds that are on that album. He's a genius. Originally, Johnny Tripolina was going to be the guitar player, and Johnny died, so there was this empty gap. Actually, instead of Johnny, it became Jerry, and Jerry overdubbed all his parts over what we already recorded. Steve Booker, thanks for joining us today on Laurel Canyon Rock Radio. From deep inside Laurel Canyon, Laurel Canyon. Canyon Rock Radio. Canyon Rock Radio.